Hey, what's up? We're Blitz Kids and we're on A Sides. They've got that Brit school thing, haven't they? Yeah, a lot of them do come out of. Mm. It's like funded by McCartney, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and you basically go and they they give you if you play an instrument they give you instrument lessons if you're singing they give you vocal lessons. So like Adele came out of there, Paloma Faith came out of there, Ed Sam Sheeran. Smith, Ed Sheeran. So it's probably a lot to do with that because um, that's that's all of them, isn't that's it? Literally, <laughs> it's all a of them. machine. We're breeding them. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing, really good. We love it in Aston. Yeah, we really we we played it two years ago as well, um, and we found out all these like really cool barbecue joints and bars that we were like really excited to go back to and um, just crack on with some meats and beers. Uh, so we went to all those. We had enough time to do it, even though our schedule this year was a lot busier with press and acoustic shows and meeting loads more people. Because the first time we went, it was a bit of a well we didn't have any shows we think we had two shows I think um, yeah. no press no press so it was really great to kind of get the full South by Southwest experience this year rushing around headless chickens beer in hand on 6th street like where are we going <laughs> into the making of keep swinging uh, yes um, we we started writing it quite a while ago, actually. Uh, it's probably about four years ago. It doesn't take us that long to write a song. We we stopped halfway through for a, for a break. <laughs> we we wrote like half of it um, because we were just like we were kind of down and out about like the band at that point. It was we were just like completely broke and like exhausted from touring and stuff, and we were kind of like ready to pack it in. So we wrote we started writing this song as a kind of like a keep like a pick me up and like a keep like to keep us going. Um, but we couldn't really finish it. We you know we did like a verse and a chorus here, and we, we we could never finish the song. So we like just went to the pub, I think probably, and uh, we just left it on the back burner. And then like two three years later, we found ourselves in L.A. Uh, and we were at John Feldman's house recording our new album, and he'd sort of picked us out of obscurity and flown us over to L.A. because he believed in us and you know got us a record deal and all this all this great stuff was happening to us and we you know we rem remembered this song that we had buried back in the back catalogue of demos and stuff and then we finished it like you know in the sunshine over there and you know it was quite funny because the lyrics I'd written about being stateside and in the sunshine I'd actually written when we were in Nantwich in a rainy garage so it was quite poetic the way it came full circle Oh, Ooh. well, Jason Salem's got to be there, ain't he? Be well in there. I'd be in there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You'll probably feature. Yeah, I'd be in there. Yeah, Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy would Tom Hardy. no doubt be in there. Uh, maybe uh, Idris Elba. Idris Elba would be in there. Daniel Craig. Yeah, Daniel Craig. Nah, he's Bond. Yeah, but John yeah, but Bond he, could he be in the Expendables. Yeah, surely. definitely be in it. He could be the leader of the Expendables. Yeah, he'd definitely be in it. <laughs> Bond in the Expendables. Dominic Monaghan. Um, who plays McNulty in The Wire, but he's actually from England. He'd be in there, drinking, laying the smack down. <laughs> Maybe Kit Harrington for some yeah. sex appeal for the ladies. And yeah. the men. Um, Eddie Redmayne. Oh, yeah. Because he's solid. <laughs> <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch. As, ben, a, as an evil, evil film. genius, because he's in every movie. <laughs> like our our uh, our expendables would be so like Nick Frost, proper, yeah. like so proper, and, like <laughs> Nick Frost and Simon Pegg would be yeah. there just for a bit, yeah, just, just for comedic Colin, relief. Colin Firth as well. Yeah, Colin Firth would be running the operation. Hugh Grant, <laughs> <laughs> he'd die first. Yeah, he would. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think so. I think uh, for a solid body of work. Um, I much rather listen to an album of like you know twelve songs. You get excited about it. You you kind of hear it. It's like you can if you have what half an hour journey, you just stick it on. Like four or five songs on like EPs. It's like it's fair enough, but you always want more, don't you? You always want more, yeah. Um, and I think it's just not not to not to cheapen ourselves. We should just keep releasing albums. The more tracks, the better. Yeah. Um, it's up to us as fans of music as well to make sure that we, you know, that albums still matter, really. Because if we're just, if we're only, you know, if we're only streaming singles or only, you know, we're only streaming, you know, we're only streaming stuff, we're never buying anything, you know, there's no encouragement for anyone to actually make a body of work. 
it's just oh I've got a good song I'll just throw it out there mm-hmm. which is which is fine you know if you you know you just want to make music and put it out there you can do so in any means but there's definitely a different depth to an out al- that an album has you know albums are the sort of things that stick with people you know one song might stick with someone throughout the whole life but an album is like can be life changing mm. Um, so it's really up to us to sort of, as music fans, to buy albums and to make sure that they still, they still matter. Because if people just don't buy them, then people will stop making them. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Our manager wanted us to do the ballroom yeah. blitz, but uh, no, we're, we're never going to do that. I can't promise that we won't play it if we play the electric ballroom in London, because it would almost be like we could just we'd have to. <laughs> blitz kids at the electric ballroom, we'd have to play we'd ballroom. Play like blitz. one minute of it. <laughs> Best chorus. And yeah, it gets a bit repetitive after yeah. that, doesn't it? It's just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just, 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 just play it. <laughs> maybe we should just maybe we should just play it on repeat, like on the PA before we come on. Yeah, yeah. Madden in, people. Never better. cover it. No, just play it before. We, it can be our intro. Yeah. 